So this was the first trip after modifying my engine, replacing the ECU with the 20 horsepower version and removing the restrictor plate. And I gotta say, really pleased with the performance. It wasn't cheap and if I had the option to, back when COVID was around, I would have bought the 20, but they're just impossible to get at least shipped over to the Isle of Man anyway. So I had to go with the 15, but uh, damn, what a difference. What a difference it makes. I mean, the top speed changed, but just the, the cruising speed, you know, was fantastic. Top speed before I replaced the ECU was, well, I think I hit 19 mile an hour in perfect conditions uh, last weekend. But this at cruising speed was like 18 and a half. So to do that at half throttle, you can just do all day. Nice low revs, nice and smooth, low fuel usage, fantastic. And then wide open throttle, uh, for the most part, I was hitting 22 mile an hour and then at one point it flipped up to 23, but yeah, you can't really count that. So yeah, love it. What a boat. Really happy with the Scout. Like I said, not perfect. Not perfect, but I mean, she looks great. Look at this. That is a lovely looking boat. Really pleased with it. So I will be installing some oars because I need them. I just need them, especially when I'm solo. So hopefully when XL get those in stock, I'll, uh, I'll be able to get them installed and make my life a little bit easier when I'm trying to launch and retrieve by myself but yeah really happy with the boat yeah really happy I think XL have got something good to work with here and I'll be really interested to know what the second generation of the Scout will look like Boy, it goes with a 20 horse on it. I'd love to stick a 30 on. Hope you enjoyed that one. And as always, if you did, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like and a subscribe. Much appreciated. See you next time.